I'm Rajneesh, and I'm very happy to introduce our film, Vanaja, to you. Vanaja was my master's thesis at Columbia University, and I began the script late in 2001. As a starting point, I decided to go back to a film that I had seen a long time ago called Sophie's Choice, and to a moment of mother-child separation in that film. That moment still exists in Vanaja. <laughs> But as I began to write, I found that the story began to meander. It began to take on elements of class distinction and conflict that I suspect I had been exposed to while growing up in rural Andhra, where my father had worked as a dam construction engineer. You are not bed, Ma. Namaste, Ma. Me, in club, panya on on gang, panya on door kudon tias kuchh na Ma. Itlandi panya na Ma. Pre-production lasted for about a year and a half, starting in August of 2003 and going until the end of 2004. Finding actors was an enormous hurdle. I knew that I wanted a sense of authenticity in the film, and that basically meant that I would have to cast from labor camps and hutments and so on. But that not only meant finding people who are willing to act, but training them too, and that was a real challenge. But I had the advantage of a wonderful professor at Columbia, Leonardo Cohen, who I feel had opened my eyes not only to the art of acting, but working with actors as well. And given that I had already used non-professionals while shooting my vacation projects when I would go back to Hyderabad, I felt that taking the plunge with the feature now made sense. We found Mamata, Mamata Bhukya, who plays Vanaja in a school. And at first, I was not going to select her. Her hair was too short. She looked like a boy. But her teacher insisted that I listen to her sing. And I still remember how sweet her voice was when she sang a song about Mahatma Gandhi, the father of the Indian independence movement. How could I not select this little angel? Sari ga But as time progressed, I began to see that I had really lucked out. This was a girl with an exceptional intelligence. She had to learn both acting and Kuchpuri dance from scratch, both within a span of a year. And I think her work speaks for itself. Although Vanaja looks at rural society and concentrates on boundaries that can and cannot be crossed and what happens when we do cross them and so on, The film also showcases elements of our art and culture, things which I feel are gradually beginning to be supplanted by an influx from the West. Modernization is inevitable, but I feel we need to re-examine how and why our heritage is fading. What has been handed down to us through generations has an enormous uniqueness and diversity to it. A house in Andhra doesn't look like one in Telangana, just a few hundred kilometers away. There is a tremendous depth to our classics, for example, in the way an Ashtapadi is composed and rendered. There is a sense of identity in the way our streets look and feel. In the way we interact with our environment. and in the way we follow our customs. 
but I feel it is a tragedy that we don't honor what is ours more. The two elderly Burakata artists who appear at Vanaja's opening have now passed away. <laughs> But what is equally tragic is that their two sons, who would under earlier circumstances have taken up their parents' profession, have now taken to jobs in construction and plumbing, quite simply because they can't make ends meet as Burakata artists. <laughs> In earlier days, where a village would sit and watch their show all evening and well into the night, they now watch TV. However, film is one way in which we can honor and bring back to life what we're losing. We can preserve this way of life and stories that people will love to see. Although I wear jeans and listen to my iPod, as a filmmaker, I feel that I should strive to record these fragments of our past that are beginning to fade. And that, I hope, is one of the strongest themes that will come through as you watch Vanaja.